Welcome to the module on thinking creatively. In this module, we're going to begin to program in SNAP and do a lot of interesting and creative things. Before we get there, let's talk about what creative means. The dictionary gives the definition of creative as relating to or involving the imagination or original ideas, especially in the production of artistic work. Given that definition, I want you to be very creative and think outside the box. The assignments in this module are going to be very open-ended to encourage you to be creative. Now some of you are probably thinking, I'm not creative, I don't have an imagination, don't tell me that. That's not true. We all have an imagination and we can all use it to make very interesting programs. Creativity is most often expressed in the arts and that's what this module will focus on. But I want you to remember that creativity applies to all majors and all disciplines. I want you to remember that creativity does not apply to creatively finding answers from other people. Creativity comes from your own mind and so focus on that and use your own ideas and show us the power of your ideas. In this module, we're going to begin to program. We will be using the programming language SNAP, which is a graphical programming language that's derived from Scratch. Both SNAP and Scratch are designed for courses exactly like this, for people who have not had a background in programming and are interested in learning about computational power and computational thinking. It should run on any computer that has JavaScript. So some of you might be thinking that putting together creativity and programming is a little bit of an oxymoron, because some people think that programming is more rigid and more restrictive. And that's true that there are rules that one must follow in order to make your program work. But these rules enable you to be very creative. And they also enable your program to work the same each time. I want to give you an example of a very interesting and creative way that both art and computer science were combined together. This display is called Bion. And it was a collaboration between an artist and a computer scientist. And what they did was something called interactive art, where you could come up to the display and you could it would actually change what it did as you got up to it. So you would walk up to it and it would be sort of singing and chirping and it could be sort of in a, a mood, it could be happy. And you walk up to it and it would get sort of scared and it would go quiet. And then if you stayed there long enough, they would sort of get used to you, sort of like something in the woods if you were out camping. They would get used to you and they'd start to get interested and they'd start to chirp again and they'd start telling their neighbors and their neighbors would tell their neighbors and eventually the whole art display could be really excited just to see you and talk to you and it would be like this display that was singing with you and if there were more than one person coming up to it they could interact with it in a variety of interesting ways. The example I just gave you was an example of combining art and computer science together to create a really interesting interactive art exhibit. In this module, you'll have an exercise on learning to draw on the screen, an exercise on learning to make sounds and enabling the user to make sounds and make music, and then the final lab will combine these two together so that you can create something new, such as an interactive story or an interactive greeting card. Let's briefly discuss the learning objectives about thinking creatively. The first objective is that you can use computing tools and techniques to create artifacts. What does that mean? It means that you're going to use programming to create artifacts, and the artifact is the program. The second objective is that you use computing tools and techniques for creative expression, and so you'll be doing that in both the drawing, the sound, and then in your final lab that combines the two of those. And your third one is that you will use programming as a creative tool, and so you'll be doing that for both the exercises and the lab.